What is going on guys, welcome to Gubbs Videos, my name is indeed Kyle Cooper, and welcome back to my WTF series review. If you guys don't know what a WTF series is, it's basically where I review really, really bad movies, or sometimes that are really funny, or sometimes they're just really bad. And today I'm reviewing Green Lantern. For the longest time, Green Lantern was my third favorite superhero, but then I started really digging into his lore. Then he instantly became number two, number one is easily Spider-Man, but for the longest time, Flash used to be my second favorite. Uh, but after digging into his lore and like who he is, what like all that other good stuff, I was like, wow, this character's so fascinating. The movie comes out and just pissed me off. I watched it once, maybe twice after that, and every other time I just got more and more angry. So how's it hold up with me being a critic now and not being how old was I? I was like 12, 13 at the time. So how's it hold up being almost 21 years old? It's not as Bad as I remember it. I will say that. Hear me out. It's still a bad movie. Don't get me wrong. It's a bad movie. It's, it's What makes it worse is that it's a worse Green Lantern movie. The acting is great. I mean, with Ryan Reynolds, people like to tend, tend to like to make fun of Ryan Reynolds for this role. It's really not his fault. Um, he was being Ryan Reynolds. When you hire Ryan Reynolds, he's one of those actors that he's always himself on the rare occasion being slightly more dramatic so he's one of those people that just plays as himself like Chris Pratt and Robin Williams like you hire him to be Ryan Reynolds so he was doing fine on that and all the other uh other actors were fine except for one I'll get into that um later the first hour of the movie although cliched and I mean so horrendously cliched it was you know decent it was decent the plot was there <laughs> um it was I can't get over how cliche this movie is. It's, I'll talk about that because I just like it's just so mind-boggling how cliche it is. It's like run of the mills with the origin story, uh, like when he's a kid, uh, Hal Jordan is a kid. I knew going into the movie, I knew that his dad was gonna die. I knew that he's gonna become a fighter pilot. But like, if for someone who ha does not know the origin of Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern. You could really piece it together rather quickly because, like, when you're introduced to the dad, everyone's, like, praising him to be this awesome dude. And the last thing he does with his son before he dies was he hands him his favorite jacket and says, keep it warm for me, bud. I'm like, couldn't make it more obvious. And so when he dies in a, a fiery explosion... You don't feel shit because guess what? You kind of figured it out really early on. And that's the main problem with this movie. Well, that's not the main problem. but That's the main problem with the first hour of the movie is the fact that you just could tell where everything is going. It's nothing really wrong with it. There's no plot holes. There's no really bad dialogue. It's just one cliche after another. And that's the biggest problem with the first hour. But um, another big... Massive problem that really extends out throughout the entire movie. And this is what the biggest offender is, I think, the entire movie. The entire movie is the fact that the movie looks ugly. It's the ugliest looking film ever. And you can like uh, Man of Steel. I love Man of Steel. You can love BVS. I hate it. You can... Whatever with the DC films with uh, Zack Snyder attached. Some people like that style. I personally do not. It's very glossy, gleamy. I don't like it. But some people do. So imagine taking that, putting in Green Lantern. Okay, bear with me. Now slap a tint of green and yellow on top of it. Green and yellow are my least favorite colors ever. I just think green and yellow are just ugly Certain greens are good. Certain greens are good, but I don't really like yellow that much. I, I don't know anyone who says my favorite color is yellow. I'm just saying. Combine the two of them, and you get this ugly urination look on top of the movie. It's like someone pissed on the camera and forgot to clean it off. Ugly, and it's with the gloss, so it's glorified all over the camera. The CGI is sometimes really sketchy. And a movie that's supposed to be color-based... I don't talk about color on the show at all because I'm not a color thesis kind of guy. I don't give a fuck as long as it looks good. The only time I really complained about it was in Venom. It looked like it was blue the entire time and I didn't like it. That being said, fucking Christ, the color is god awful. You have green and yellow and they, they t take the saturation on that level so low. It's 
ugly. Green Lantern, when he uses his powers, it looks so desaturated. And it's supposed to be a bright light, and it's supposed to be powerful, it's supposed to be exciting, exhilarating. And you get this desaturated look. It's so gross. It's ugly. And then when the yellow comes in, that's even uglier. I mean, like, my God. You have two colors. Yes, I don't like them personally, but in the animated stuff... They make it look good. You know why? Because it's bright. It's colorful. It's that. But you take the color and desaturate. It's energy for God's sakes. Make it bright. It doesn't matter if it's saturated. Just make it look bright and colorful and happy for the kids. For me. And, and it's whatever. The entire movie's color was garbage. Ugly. But that ran out of the way. There's another thing that I had a big problem with and this I'm not sure who to blame the actor or the director I'm probably gonna lean more towards the director because I don't think an actor would think this is okay I think his name is Hector I think um basically the dude that gets a swole head yeah that guy what the fuck <laughs> like I don't understand it it's basically him when he becomes a super villain he, he just yells, and it's not even a funny yell. It's so dumb, and it's a, annoying. Like, he yells when he gets the powers. He yells when people are fucking making fun of him in, his, in their minds. This and this and that and that. It's stupid. It's really dumb. It's not entertaining. I was not afraid of him. I don't know what the point of that character was. And then you got Parallax, like, you failed me. The problem with that, that, that whole thing, is that you didn't plan on having him. So how did he fail you? He didn't get he didn't get um, a list of things to do. He didn't get a to-do list. You He just accidentally got the powers, and then you're like, good luck, bitch. No, he, he didn't even know. There was not even one time he said, I know that you are part of me now. You have the power of fear. Good luck. Rave fear. Destroy the Green Lantern Corps. What the fuck? And like, there was not one time he knew Parallax didn't even know there was no interaction between the two until the end. It makes no sense. So, like I said, the first hour was decent and cliche. I forgot to give you guys the warning. The, the second hour mark, the, 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 the second half was garbage. I don't know what the fuck happened. But someone messed up. Someone went on the wrong director's chair. It's like, yo, Billy Bob Thornton, get onto the fucking chair and just direct the movie. He's like, I'm an actor. He's like, oh, well, tough shit, direct. And he's like, fuck, uh, scream, buddy. Ah! Fucking stupid. My God. That entire subplot was wasted. Stupid. No point to the movie. He, they, they're like, oh, look, Hector, he's a, he's a, he's a thinker. Shame on you for being a thinker. Oh, what a fucking cocksucker for a dad. You know what I mean? My God. And like, he's like, you are a smart person. Shame on you. Ah, it makes no fucking sense. This movie, the entire second half makes so fucking sense. It really doesn't. And that's not even the most frustrating part of the fucking movie. It involves, I forget the dude's name. Forgive me, but I don't care about the guy. I'm talking about the guy that played in Man of Steel. The one that's fucking pink and purple with elf ears and shit like that. You know, the, the douchebag in the Green Lantern Corps. That guy. The one that suggests, um, I don't know. Let's fight fear with fear. After the fact that the Guardians explained that, oh yeah, a Guardian. Basically gods. One of them was like, listen guys, we can, we can really maintain the power of fear. And then the, everyone's like, no, you can't. It's too risky. He goes there himself, gets overwhelmed, becomes Parallax. And then after hearing that, elf fucker over here is like, let's fight fear with fear. Did you not just listen to the fucking story, you moron? You can't do it. A guardian couldn't do it. What makes your punk ass think you can do it? It makes no sense. Like, literally, not even minutes, not even an hour after the fact he said it. This is seconds, mere seconds after the story, he's like, let's get a fucking ring. And you know what happened? The Guardians are like, yeah, let's do it. What could go wrong? Even though... It's... 
fucking dumb writing. It makes no sense. I don't want to get the police called on me for a disturbance. The, the, the writing just boggles my mind. It really does. And that's not the first time that's happened in the movie. There was countless times in the second hour where the people were just contradicting themselves. I tend to always complain about the screenwriting because I am indeed a screenwriter. I write screenplays. I tend to notice these things more than, I don't know, directing, acting, coloring, cameras. I don't notice those things as much as I notice screenwriting. So I will always look at the script first. What this writer really messed up on was how to write tension, how to write conflict. Because... Every time there's a conflict, they just kind of revert back as if nothing happened. Every time there's no conflict, they just write one just to write one. You can't write a conflict for the sake of writing a conflict. After hearing the story and saying fighting fear with fear, and then after making a deal with Hal Jordan saying, listen, if I can beat Parallax on my own, we don't use fear. He's like, okay, but... And after he beats Parallax, for some fucking reason... He puts it on anyway. I just, I just don't get it. Like, I, it makes me numb. I can't feel my arms. I'm just paralyzed of how stupid the screenwriting is. They just spit on the lore of this movie. The, the, the lore of. Th I'm done. I'm done. It's whatever. I'm gonna rate this movie one out of five stars. Yeah. Later, guys.